Hi, I'm Alan Cylinder. And I'm his daughter, Chelsea Cylinder. We're Cylinder Cylinder. And today we're here to talk about Slumberland. This is a fantasy epic, I guess. Directed by Francis Lawrence, a director I think is actually pretty good. I don't know what happened here. And it stars <laughs> Jason Momoa and Marlo Barkley. And Chris O'Dowd and Kyle Chandler. That's right. Can't forget them. Yes. This is about an 11-year-old girl who was raised by her single father, and she grows up living on this secluded island in a lighthouse. And her father gets lost at sea, and she is forced to go live in the city with her uncle, played by Chris O'Dowd. And her father grew up telling her all of these fantasy stories, and when she goes to sleep, she meets all of these fantasy characters who convince her that she can find her father. So she keeps going to sleep to travel to Slumberland in the hopes of reconnecting with her father. This is loosely based on a famous turn-of-last-century comic strip by Windsor McKay. And people love the comic strip. This film has little in common, I'm told, with it. They change the main character from a boy to a girl and do a lot of other things that probably purists who like the comic strip won't like. But there's a lot of special effects here, and there's nothing much really going on. The story is actually pretty dull, but there are occasional flourishes of some decent visual images. I'm kind of torn about what I thought of this movie because for most of the movie, I was honestly quite bored. I thought it needed to be a lot more riveting and it just wasn't. But I was having a hard time because I thought that the movie's heart was in the right place. So it was hard for me to give it a bad review because its heart was in the right place. But then the last third of the movie, I actually really liked. And I thought not only did they have the heart, but they took it a step further. And I don't know, you could really feel the emotions. I thought it got sentimental and actually really nice. So I just wish the first two-thirds of the movie were enjoyable like the last third. What I wish is for a better central performance by Jason Momoa because he's really pretty bad. He doesn't seem to have any concept of how that role should be played. He thinks just by playing it big and broad, it will work and amuse audiences. Well, it may amuse kids, but the reality is it's really a bad performance and it's a kind of role that should be good. And there are many actors who could have done it well. I actually really liked Chris O'Dowd. I am not a fan of his, but he's not bad in it. I really liked him. I thought a lot of the heart that I was talking about in the last third of the movie came from him. And I just thought he did a really good job. He was right for that role, and I just thought he did it very well. The girl I thought was okay also. This is currently streaming on Netflix. It's a big-budget movie, and I think some people will enjoy it. I was pretty bored. I would give this movie two cylinders. I would give this movie two and a half cylinders, and that's because of the last section of the movie. Slumberland. This is Alan Cylinder. And Chelsea Cylinder. Saying, see you with the movies. Bye.